I got, I got an equation for you. It works. Yeah? Yeah. So, using trigonometry, I was able to basically figure out an equation. I'm an engineer, so I have like a math background, and this... We wanted to figure out the, the pixel offset, right? So, these are your cameras pointing this way, and there's an object in the center. So you have two points, something in the center, so now you have this triangle. Now if you take half of this, you have a right triangle, and now you can use trigonometry. So this angle here, the more it gets closer to 90 degrees, which would be a line, uh, you get this number that's like infinite. And the closer it gets to zero, it, you get zero. So you can use that as a relationship for the number of pixels to offset if you know how many pixels a quarter of your 360 degree field is. For us, since we're doing 6K compositions, that means a quarter of that is only gonna be 1500. Uh, pixels. So as soon as you go off frame at 1500 pixels, that means your point is like right between your eyes. So basically what it comes down to, we figured out that something that's a meter away is only going to have 88.85 degrees, which correlates to, I think, 19 pixels offset. So anything that's a meter away from the camera, you'll need to be shifted to the right 19 pixels and shifted to the left 19 pixels for each eye. So you get left eye, right eye, they're offset from the center a little bit. Here are your cameras with your field of view. Here's your little right angle. Here's that. So you have Y, which is your distance, X, which is half of your inner pupillary distance, and you can figure that out. So then you end up with a percentage, and you just take a percentage of your comp width divided by four. That's, that's really all it is. There's no calculus involved. It's just algebra and, and trigonometry.